In the previous video about audio player we learned how to do play, stop pause and resume. Link of that video is included in the description. Today we will learn how to add slider and time stamp. A boolean variable is needed to track the playing status. Bool is playing. A duration variable for the total duration of the audio. A position variable for position. Now let's put the slider all the way down the button. Min zero. Max audio duration in seconds. Value is position. Then on changed function. This value parameter is used to get the current slider position. That is assigned to a variable. Add that position to the player sleek function. Resume function can be called here only if required. Now let's display the timestamp. We can give two texts in one row and show the playing time in one and the balance duration in the other. Need a function for formatting the time.
Format time function. Position in first text box. Balance duration in second text. The position should be subtracted from the duration. Now let's create init state. All current state should update. First we set the playing state. On player state changed. Next set the duration. On duration changed. Then position. Run the application.
All these buttons can be removed and only play and stop button can be placed. The play button itself can be used as a pause button. Buttons can be included by giving row widget at the top. Give the icon button inside the circle avatar. If it is in playing state, give pause button. Otherwise play button. For that a condition check can be done here. Same in on press function. If it is in playing state give pause function. Else play function. Then add a stop button. Comment all old buttons.